Being a little fish in a big pond might have its benefits on different occasions, especially when the large pond in question is the ocean. The Big Blue is home to some amazing small marine creatures and numerous varieties of small fish, but they can be difficult to find and hard to be measured in inches. When you're only millimeters long, the world seems a lot bigger. Today, we are taking a look at the top 10 tiniest sea creatures. First on our list at number 10 is the Irukandji Jellyfish. From Finding Nemo, you may recall Dory's pal Squishy. This is the real-life version of a Squishy. But be careful not to approach too close since you can get stung. The Irukandji Jellyfish is adorable, but it is extremely dangerous. This is a venomous box jellyfish of some sort. They are not only one of the smallest jellyfish in the oceans that we currently know of, but also one of the most venomous. They can grow to an adult size of only around 1 centimeter long. They are, unsurprisingly, found in Australia, like the majority of the world's venomous animals. These jellyfish have the ability to fire their stingers directly into their prey. In contrast to many other jellyfish, their stingers are located in their bells as well as their tentacles. You don't want to offend this little guy because he'll definitely lash out. On to number 9, we have the octopus wolfi. Over 300 octopus species have been identified. As a result, it's reasonable to anticipate a range of sizes. The wolf eye octopus is the tiniest octopus species ever discovered. People's fascination with this octopus is not diminished by its diminutive size. It only serves to pique people's interest in it. We are not joking when we say the wolf eye octopus is the smallest octopus species. When fully grown, this tiny creature rarely exceeds 1 inch in length. An adult specimen will tip the scales at 0.04 ounces when it comes to weight. This equates to about 1 gram. To give you an idea how light it is, it's the equivalent of two micro SD cards. Yes, the small black memory cards that you put in your phone? Imagine two of those in the palm of your hand and you'll get an idea of how much the largest wolf eye octopus weighs. Most of you would barely know this weight. The wolf eye octopus, despite its small size, is a thriving and successful species. It has a wide distribution. Wolf eye octopuses can be found all over the Western Pacific Ocean. This is more accurately referred to as the Indo Pacific. Wolf eye octopus specimens have been discovered all over the world, from the Red Sea to Tahiti, and the wolf eye octopus rarely ventures far from the coast. It is a species that thrives in shallower water depths. Wolf eye octopuses can be found at depths ranging from a few feet to 90 feet. Number 8. Pygmy Seahorse The pygmy seahorse is a lovely little saltwater fish that lives its entire life on soft corals and sea fans. They are mostly found in tropical waters that are warm. The seahorses can grow up to the size of a human fingernail, so they're quite small and they rarely exceed an inch or around 2.4 centimeters in length. Juvenile pygmy seahorses are usually so small, only a few millimeters in length, that they are almost imperceptible to the diver's eye. They are also well camouflaged in their surroundings, making them even more difficult to locate. Not only are these the tiniest seahorses in the world, but they are also popular among photographers. These animals are difficult to see because they are so small, and if you do manage to locate them and photograph them, Keep in mind that these tiny marine marvels lack eyelids and are therefore extremely light-sensitive. Number 7. Nudibranch For many people who don't go diving, the idea of a water creature that looks like a slug could seem uninteresting or even boring, but they'd be wrong. Divers have a different perspective on these aquatic creatures. Scuba divers are always on the lookout for nudibranch, which are tiny little snippets of the ocean. This is a tiny species with a lot of color that can grow up to 12 inches or 30 centimeters in length. These creatures can be as small as 4 millimeters in length, which is why they are on our list as yet another small sea animal. It's also well known for its vibrant colors, and this sea creature has a variety of stunning colors and forms, but at first glance, it appears helpless. These creatures, on the other hand, are not helpless. 
Right at number 6, we have the Juvenile Frogfish. Many divers enjoy looking for frogfish while diving, and they attract the attention of underwater photographers in particular. They are very popular, but because they are well camouflaged and adapt well to their surroundings, they can be difficult to find. These sea creatures come in a variety of sizes and colors, but these tiny saltwater fish are truly hideous. Adult frogfish can grow from an inch to 22 inches in length, but we're talking about baby frogfish on this list. Number 5. Sexy Shrimp Because of its unusual body movements, the Thoromboinensis species is also known as the Sexy Shrimp. The way they swear their abdomen back and forth with an exotic flair has earned them this flamboyant moniker. The sexy shrimp can grow up to one and a quarter inches in length, but most adults are much smaller, making it one of the small marine animals. The sexy shrimp is most commonly found hiding among the tentacles of an anemone on Indo-Pacific reefs. These flirtatious fellas are very popular among macro photographers, and despite their small size, they make up for it in color, with a vibrant orange body that is adorned with white polka dots. As far as we're concerned, this makes it the cutest small water animal in the ocean. Next at number 4, the Dwarf Lantern Shark. Yes, a shark made our list of the top 10 smallest animals found in the ocean. The dwarf lantern shark is the smallest shark, and thus possibly the smallest fish in the ocean. It is also the smallest shark in the world, and unquestionably, one of the cutest. The largest specimen ever recorded has a body length of only 7.8 inches, or 20 centimeters. That's minuscule. These small aquatic animals live at a depth of 283 to around 439 meters, so that's around 928 to about 1400 feet, near the upper continental slopes of Venezuela and Colombia. The lantern shark is distinguished by its long, flattened head, a mid-dorsal line, and black ventral markings, in addition to its teeny size even at maturity. Although the dwarf lantern shark is not targeted by commercial fisheries, its species, like many other endangered shark species, could become threatened as a result of bycatch. The impact of human activity on this ocean's tiniest creature is unknown at this time. Number 3. Algae The sea is home to some of the tiniest plant organisms on the planet, and many of the specimens are single-celled green algae. They are five times larger than marine bacteria, and they measure from about 5,000 nanometers. That's around 5 micrometers. These teeny tiny algae are often prey for the larger, but still tiny, sea creatures. When it comes to size, algae range from the smallest known microscopic micromona species to the massive kelps that can grow up to 60 meters or 200 feet tall and tower over the ocean seabed. Algae also happen to be a source of crude oil, which is used in some foods and a variety of pharmaceutical and industrial products used by humans, in addition to their ecological roles of producing oxygen and providing food for most aquatic life. Giant kelp forests have been designated as endangered due to the popularity of the scrummy kelp and the oil it produces. Number 2. Marine Bacteria Marine bacteria are the second tiniest organisms that can be found in the ocean. Even though they are larger than marine viruses, many marine bacteria are still quite small. In fact, some are only a thousand nanometers long. Even though they appear to be larger than marine viruses, you won't be able to see them without a powerful microscope. Marine bacteria, or bacteria that live in the ocean, is becoming a more popular field of study in marine biology. Actually, did you know that in just one milliliter of seawater, you can find up to a million living and existing microscopic organisms? At number one, we have the marine viruses. Viruses in the sea are as small as 40 nanometers. That's right, not even millimeters or inches. You might be wondering what a nanometer is. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter so it's minuscule to say the least. It is, in fact, the tiniest known. The largest marine viruses can reach a diameter of 400 nanometers while remaining undetectable to the naked eye. To see them, you'll need a powerful microscope. Marine viruses can come in a variety of sizes and have destructive capabilities. 
There are millions of these tiny creatures out there in the vastness of space. Scientists discovered marine viruses using epifluorescence and electron microscopy on ecological water samples. The metagenomic sampling of uncultured viral samples came after that. It's pretty cool, or so we think. Well, that's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new to the channel to be notified when we upload more content.